Why should people watch this video? Oh, that's a good way to start it. Okay, um, I'm G. Hi, and I like to eat pizza. Is pizza good to have every day? Probably not. That's pretty much 90% of what I eat every day. Actually, that's what I do. When it comes to researching what's the best thing to eat, <laughs> to do, like all those things, my sister, I trust her research and I trust the information that comes out of her. So I was like, Bianca, like I'm, I want to get like more on a health kick. So I was like, can you do a video with me? And she said, yeah. And here we are at Whole Foods and we're going to go to Wegmans. We're going to learn a lot about how to nourish our bodies through the foods that we eat, things that we drink, and the things that we buy. I'm a marketer and marketing is the reason. It, it is the marketer and the lab scientists that have really ruined America all over the world too. But those two have come together and just created fake foods that are really poisoning all of us. So I just asked my sister, can I follow you while you shop and like see like the products that you buy? And she's like, yeah. So that's literally what we're doing today. Just following my sister and maybe I'll pick up a couple things along the way. Puffed wheelie. <laughs> I'm gonna do that before we got serious. Okay, let's go. By the way, none of the products that we're buying today are sponsored. We have no medical background. We don't have a nutrition background. This My brother's fun. a dentist and he's a doctor though. <laughs> this is just like consumer-based research, so full disclaimer. Skip Did all that. Like, all okay, like, do we trust you in the comments? Someone's gonna be like, wait, but they're actually wrong. Okay, like, skip all that. This is how I eat and I see this to be clean. So, right. And I'm gonna represent just like general, general masses. Masses. Really just sitting here observing her shop, okay? So we're along the ride together. Okay, so you said you wanted to, you wanted granola. Yeah, because I like granola. granola. That you have at Wegmans is not good. Wait, I, I thought it was. Seed oils. Seed oils. Basically, you want avocado oil olive oil. These purely Elizabeth is a great organic brand too. No garbage. Like it's just like purely made with love. Okay. I have a question. One time I bought something and it was organic something. Like organic hey. apples. And I brought it to Nana's house, my grandmother. And she was like, why would you spend extra money on organic? Yeah. Like it's just an apple. What are you really buying? Apples. That's the biggest thing. But the thing is, it's the way that the apples are grown. Okay. Apples are either sprayed with chemicals on it. But that's you wash the cheaper them one. Off. Yeah. It's like they're also they could be genetically mutated. Like they're not real apples. Okay, genetically modified. It's yeah. like right. And you'll actually see on this packaging like non-GMO. I mean it's it's not genetically modified. It's basically like not really an apple. So this is my understanding. Again, you guys are just literally flies on the wall. I'm genuinely just talking to my sister. If it is GMO, the only reason they would do GMO or add anything to it is because it's cheaper and they can sell more. Right, it's all about making profit. Money. So it's just whoever Capitalism. created it. Yeah. Yeah. Which of course businesses are in business to make money, but there's so much more. There's actually respecting people who consume the product. And there's an authentic way to go about you it. You can literally tell so much about the leader of the company based on how it's made. Pesticides are just basically Dash your baby. Pesticides are basically sprayed yeah, on yeah, yeah. crops yeah. to get no insects. No animals, like no one's pestering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like perfect. Yeah. But in the end, perfect is it? Perfect. It's it's not really perfect. Yeah. Like it's actually like perfect would be it's perfect nutrition for our body. Like our body consumes yeah. it. It digests as well. When we digest chemicals, things that are not made of the earth, our body's like what? Like, what is this? It's confused. But don't we adapt over time? Like don't our bodies aren't they getting used to Many this stuff? Many of these additives, all the pesticides, all these chemicals, they're all. Look, many of them are cancerous, they cause certain diseases. Like these are all, this is all research. So why like, don't they just take those ingredients out? Because they don't care because there's the FDA, so like the Food Administration for the US and or elsewhere, I don't know elsewhere, but they're just like, well, if you have like only 8% of this or only this, it's actually okay. Why America, America so? America is capitalism. Like that's all about making money is American dream. This is all about making money here. A lot of people are more focused on making money than actually helping people. You can do both. Like that's, you can you do, can do both. both. You don't have to pick both. Both. With an L. Both. both. You don't have to pick one, one or the other. Many people think you are in business solely to make money and sure that's a result, but there is a mission. There is a, something that you give back to people when you're in business. See, no one Not ever believes like, like that. that. In it. the end, food is just nutrient. Like it's just nourishment. There's higher qualities of nourishment and lower qualities. And you are what you eat. 
Pizza so, Princess G. <laughs> and you're Bianca, to... you eat clean? Pure. Yeah. So my name means oh. pure. What you... is your name But mean? the thing is too, <laughs> Juliana means youthful. It's about preserving your youth too. You're preserving your vitality. Oh. You're preserving life. So That's why I like dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> so show me what granola you think. <clears throat> so this is a really great brand that I've seen for years now. So pure Queen, Queen, Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. So this is actually really interesting. You'd think that I made this, but it's certified, <laughs> it's certified B Corp. So it's basically like they really care. <laughs> which is like so it's yeah, like if I created this. Is that this, really a thing I should do? Yeah, for? certified B. Oh wow. Yeah. You want this badge for organic, it's like, okay, it's literally organic. This is not modified at all. Yeah. This is clean. I, I used to know a lot more about this. I used to be like really into this, but I can't tell you anything about this right now. Vegan, gluten-free. For me, my body doesn't really like respond as well to gluten. So like, I feel like my face gets puffy, whatever. So I try to stay away. It doesn't spike your blood sugar as much, but that's that's a whole other thing. So anyways, when I shop, I don't look for always certified B. It's just uh -huh. like an extra like star saying, yeah, that's actually like, it's, it, it got is the really Bianca good. It got verified. Gold star. Yeah, the B This star. just said everybody, if you say the B, Bianca actually put that. <laughs> if you're looking at this, it looks very inviting. Uh -huh. Flip. I don't literally don't care if this has rainbows and puppies on it. Like I go here. Uh -huh. So right now I start to read and I start to look at each one of the ingredients. So right here, the fact that it's gluten-free oats, coconut sugar, which is like this is better than it's like a pure form of sugar. Sugar, sugar. It's still added sugar, but whatever. Coconut oil. So it's not like canola oil. Sunflower seeds. Puffed. Amaranth, isn't that like Amaranth? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> streamer, right? But anyways, you kind of you go down. <laughs> so you go down this list, and basically, I'm looking at here, and I'm saying, okay, this actually pretty much fits my criteria. The fact that it's regenerative is like, wow, that's amazing. This person, this Elizabeth, her. She really cares about the earth and she really cares about consumers. Like that's what I read about this. Like she actually cares about people and she's making money good for her. One thing I think about, by the way, I don't know if you know this about me, or you know this, like when you buy something, it's like a vote. Like your dollar, so like we could vote for Elizabeth yes. by buying this. Right, do, do we vote for her? Do we right? vote, do we believe in what she's doing? Does she deserve the dollar? Exactly. Like, and her stuff's on sale, interesting. Here in the US, like everything's already like double the price. When you're buying organic, it's also more expensive too. In the end, I wish I could quote this perfectly, but like, are you paying for your wellness or are you going to eventually pay for your illness? Whoa! So essentially it's like you're Wait, hold on. Say it again. <laughs> Say it louder for the people in, the, in back. the back. So it's almost like you're buying insurance ahead of time for like hopefully never a future hospital visit or things like that. I There's never obviously... thought about it like that. So this is insurance. Health insurance? Who? That's tea. There's a lot of tea with health insurance. Ooh, this, honestly, that. organic food should be included in health insurance. I don't know why oh, it's not. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I'm happy you could have any of this. Okay, um, I would like to try vanilla chocolate chip. I'll get two. What else should I get? Oh, blueberry hemp. Hey, that sounds good. I would do these two. Flip it, look at the ingredients, because sometimes well, some of them are good. Oh, Elizabeth. She's it is, good. but sometimes. But it's certified B. Sometimes they go crazy, it doesn't like matter. What? Just keep, you always just double check. Sunflower is a bad though, right? Sunflower. Post Malone like Sunflower oil, actually, no. Like Listen, if it's oil. not perfect, this is better than what I've been having, right? So if it I get this. I would say from sunflower oil, though. I wouldn't want to like this. So should I not even just try like, it? Just like this. Yeah, just don't even try that. Really? Yeah. This is how strict. That's, it's a seed oil. I would get a seed oil. Whoa. See, okay, so this is my problem, okay? I want to eat better. Wow, this is a good brand. I'll trust the brand. But in the end, still, you got to read stuff. And like, I'm not trying to. Well, it's hard because they don't care about you. In fact, Elizabeth. I would say a majority, a majority, I would say 99% of it is not good Garbage. for you. I don't know all the details on this, but some of these oils are, literally, are made as like lubricants for your cars and stuff, and somehow they've slipped through and it's like, okay, How is that allowed? Because it makes money. It makes money. They There's knew a lobbying. guy. Yeah. yeah, they knew a guy. So I can't even do these. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to trying to eat clean. Ooh. Oh, look. you like this stuff. Yeah, I've gotten three wishes before because look, look how transparent this is. Again, it's added sugar. Personally, I'm trying to stay away from added sugar, but in the end, I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder yeah. as much. And like, you have to Is manage your spiked blood sugar. Be certified? No. It, it, it's okay. Don't focus on that. Oh. Don't focus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's compare. Right. This is the same thing. 
pretty much. Well, the price difference already. Uh, this is, that's what I'm looking at. Four sixty nine versus seven twenty nine yeah. a box, and this is the price. Let me show me this. Doesn't this feel like I care about you more than this? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. This is like a laundry list filled of garbage. Yeah. But it's gluten free. But it's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper. But how cheap is your health? Like, do you really that care about that? Well, honestly, I'm a marketer. I hate marketers. <gasps> Marketers are terrible. They could be a voice for change, yet it's easier to lead people towards cheaper prices instead of actually showing them value value. There's good marketers on there, but for the most part, when it comes to food marketing, there's tea. Look, it looks so good. It just looks like real honey. It's gluten free, like lower cholesterol. Like it's hyping you up only to just be like, yeah, anyways. <laughs> This is really what, and look at this. Contains bioengineered food ingredients. What does that mean? Oh, they it's made fake. it. It's GMO. Fake. It's fake. Yeah. This is not real food. Oh, I love this. Honey is this is literally is. made with men, white lab coats, and gloves with like the beakers. Like literally, think of the, the llama. Dalai Lama. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Um, we love him. Co <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> no. No. What's his name? Cusco. Oh, oh, Cusco. Yeah. Oh, Isma. Yeah. Isma. That's what this oh, is. Just so they can do a, a lower price so they can make more money. But this is cheating. Good source of calcium. Like, this is what they could work with. So, this, like, is, this, marketer, is, embarrassing. this is a marketer. General Mills? No. But it's a G. I know. Sage. And there's a little heart, too. You're your own biggest critic. W's. W. <laughs> Lovebird? This is called Lovebird. Wow. You know what I really love about this? You can tell by the packaging. Yeah, I wish you could feel the packaging. But oh my God, I wish you guys could feel it. This whole thing is very sweet. It's basically mm. like the founder of this. They had a daughter. Like, the birth of my daughter was powerful. I was in awe of my wife's strength, the perfection of my daughter from her this first cry. <laughs> Yeah, but here, but the person cares. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. The gratitude of becoming a dad. I felt a calling to make a difference. I left my big food job to clean up cereal with real food ingredients from the earth and to fight childhood cancer by giving 20% profit. Love. Together we can rise and fly to better food future. So basically it's like a dad, he's just a good guy. Like he's he just a good want, guy. You know, like so he just wants to. The 20% of profit's coming out of my $11. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> Is that what he's saying, right? Profits. Yeah. So this is uh, revenue technically. Uh, okay. So after See, she went to business. School, chat. <laughs> yeah, this is after he pays everyone. Honestly, What's it's, it's honestly like a nice name? tax write-off. Is really what that is. How's that? Oh, for him. For him. But oh. in the end, but in the end, it's something good. See, he's doing business in a different way. Yeah, I get I mean, it. I see it's, it. It's good. I see you, Robbie. Oh, that's his son. What's his name? Dad. Dad. If I have kids, I'd be like, yeah. If you wanted cereal, like I would let them have it. Technically, like it's not super processed, but it's processed. If you really want to eat like a champ, you just eat from the earth. You'd live on a farm, you'd raise the cows, Betsy. Betsy. Me and Bianca have been having almond milk for how long? A long time. Bianca introduced it to the family, and I just like love almond milk now. This is what we have. It's not like have. It's, um, it's. Oh, it's local. It's not like it's pasteurized or culture or anything like that. Like okay, it's just so we'll literally get... almonds and water. That's why. So this is the almond milk we're gonna get. I've been drinking my coffee black for three days because we were waiting to film this video and I didn't get anything and I knew we were gonna find a new creamer. But run through this, run through this. Oh, see shoot. if you can figure it out. This is the test. <clears throat> see if you can understand. Caramel, I like hazelnut the best. Dairy free ingredients, water, coconut cream, almonds, natural flavors, gums. So I'm not allowed. I know that gums what, are not What else good. is in there? Soy lecithin. No. Sunflower left this in. There's different ones. Any lecithin is not good. Right. Yeah. So just there's health is hard. Uh, so yeah. who is this? Nuts? They're nuts. Nut they think that that's good. That's nuts. So what is this? Elmhurst oat creamer, French vanilla. Oh, oat milk, hemp cream, phosphate. I would just stay, I would say for from this. It's hard. Is this not what we got, but like that's the almond version, this yeah. is the hazelnut? Yeah, try that. Oh, maybe you ingredients, filter water, hazelnuts. I, I would trust that. Okay, I like hazelnut. There's chocolate version. Just look, only six ingredients, let's look at that. Filtered water, whole grain oats, cane sugar, cocoa, natural flavors, salt. What do they mean by natural flavors? What the heck does that yeah, mean? Yeah, natural flavors, it's not It's kind of like, it's like not, there's it's, other it's stuff a anyway. Out. It's a cop out. Yeah, so this is, I could try this one. Just, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna get this juice. I like it because one, I like that it's in a glass bottle. There's like microplastics and stuff that can actually like go into the drink. Can I always buy it perfectly? No, but the fact that it's in like a glass, glass bottle is really good. It's just literally carrot juice and lemon juice, organic. 
so it's super natural. I'm obsessed with seaweed snacks, and I only ever get the Wegmans one, but I see these right now. It kind of looks like gum for some reason. Why does this look like gum? <laughs> so tell me about this, this seaweed situation. So same thing applies. I still want to get organic. I would make sure that the way that they're prepared is prepared in oil that's actually good. Like right away, I see this is avocado oil. Is that good? That's good. Avocado oil is good. I'd like sea salt. Okay, so this also has sea salt. So let's let's look. We're gonna flip both of them. This is both. literally what they do both. I want you to do it. You're a girl. You're a girl. And you're just looking for seaweed snacks. Hi, I'm a girl and <laughs> I'm interested in getting seaweed snacks. Ingredients, seaweed, sunflower oil. You said no to that. Sunflower, it's a seed oil. Stay away from that. It's just not good for digestion. Oh, but avocado oil is the better yes. one? So, Avocado oil, good sunflower oil bad? Yes, yes. Certain oils can create inflammation in oh. the gut. They're cleaner. Think about that, it's cleaner for you. Beautiful. It's on sale too. <laughs> oh, what about the coffee we got, is that okay? Probably not. Wait, really? Taste just choice, Bianca. This is the key to my, this chocolate I love. Okay, so everybody, my P.O. box should be linked. If you want to send Bianca <laughs> something, you can send her this. What is this? Evolve? This is so good. This looks Organic like someone's wedding invitation. <laughs> <laughs> Organic Jerusalem <laughs> artichoke fiber. What the heck is that? This is, this brand is so good. This is a lot right now. Hold on. Popcorners! Oh, they sold out of ours. So popcorners aren't good for you? You tell me. They're I mean, probably I don't know. not. There's no way. <laughs> I am super intimidated by all these rules because it feels like no, it feels like I'm getting backed up into a corner because I've been eating like the way that I've been eating forever and now I feel like I shouldn't be eating. I shouldn't like this. eat anything. You know it's hard because the things that we can't see we don't value. And because you can't see immediately what you put in your body, you can't see the inflammation or like you can't see these things, you don't value it as much. And that's the challenge of all this for honestly converting people because people want immediate gratification. Yeah, there's going cold turkey, it's like basically quitting an addiction of like certain types of food and stuff and like like, I don't claim to be completely perfect, but at the same time, like I really try to have cleaner ingredients just out of respect for, for myself, your body. for my body. 9% of people in the US eat purely organic. 9%. It's hard because like I'm sitting here and I, I honestly like I just feel like not like you're attacking me But it's almost like everything I do is wrong. That's yeah. Yeah, feels. so it feels everything like I'm not bad. like I feels like I feel hopeless and I'm kind of like hey like we're the popcorners It's another thing too, like age and things. It's just like you just start to kind of res respect, start to your respect yourself You know what helps me? I think the kick of like just wanting to I believe manifestation is real and like I want to manifest like I want kids really badly. So I think of it like I should take care of my body because like babies are gonna grow inside me. I want them to have like a nice home. Like I'm spring cleaning. Like I'll, yeah. I wanna take care of like where they're gonna be. I yeah. wanna take care of myself. So that's, that's like- a beautiful way to I think look at that's it. the way that, that's why I wanted to do this honestly because I wanna just like prepare my body for that. You've created a child, you've created a baby and now you're gonna feed that baby right, something. Right. Do you wanna feed it no. garbage? It's like, no, like I literally love you so much. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like I don't wanna wait until I'm pregnant to like start taking care of my yeah. body, which is like, a, I'm not hinting that I'm gonna have a baby anytime soon. By the way, if you're listening, I personally don't think you would be feeding your kids. Like maybe every so often, you'd be like, you can have a little treat, but it's like you just want them to be healthy and strong. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and it starts with you. Yeah, exactly. But there's fun things that you can get. Like this is actually a really great brand, Lesser Evil. That was good. I liked those. Yeah. Oh, this is Lesser Evil too. Mhm. Mm That's what I'm saying. It's a really great brand. If I am gonna snack. Can I just say something? Popcorners, everybody knows, they're my favorite, not sponsored, love them, spicy queso, the best. Bianca's gonna judge them. Kristen likes this one, I like spicy queso. They don't have a lot. We can eat it? No, it's sunflower oil. Yeah, but like, it's okay. It's sunflower oil. The snacks that I usually have, listen, are, are popcorn, in the sea, in the in the seaweed. Mm -hmm. Fridays is a popcorn day. You should cheat a balanced way. I think it's good to not cut yourself completely off, but to make sure you have like a day where you like do get to have something or like cheat a little bit, like popcorners on a Friday. So many eggs. Excellent. So, what exactly this is really are we looking this for? Is like what egg exactly? <laughs> what a, a, a. So it's interesting because people are usually like, oh, cage free, like I should get this, this one. This is a lot of homework. No, no, go, go. 
guys, like, I'm just saying, like, this is how I feel. Like, I'm not even, like, I don't even care this. Like, it's just, oh, Usually my God. people just turn their brains off and they just buy and they don't yeah, care. Yeah, it's me. This is being, like, a very, we'll just say a smart consumer. Okay. Smart with your money, but also smart with your health. Okay. So, people usually think if the chicken is cage-free, they think, oh, that's good. They're not in the cage. The best is pasture-raised. Why? Pasture-raised means they they're get not... They get to play. They get to play in the grass. That's Yay. literally what that means. They get to play. Like, they're eating on natural nutrients. Like, it's just like, they're respecting the hens, the chickens, whatever. They're respecting them. I remember when eggs cost... I don't know how much they did, but they weren't $11. Pasture age is the best, but the actual best, best, best eggs. Regenerative organic. This sort of means like not only do we care about the animals, we also care about biodiversity. We always like, we care about the soil. We care about the earth. We care about every part of the ecosystem. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What if viewers at home want they believe in the truth of like good taking care of animals and like clean ingredients, but they can't afford it? I'm just thinking about how people in my chat would respond to be like, okay, I hear you, but like, I can't afford it, this is making me feel bad. You can offset other parts of your life too. Some people don't like really expensive cars, they would rather go on really expensive vacations or just a little spend more on vacation. Okay. Pick it. Wellness, illness. What's more expensive, a hospital bill, especially in America? In the end, your health should be number one priority, period. What I believe in is balance. Balance, balance, balance. Don't completely cut yourself off. Take your time, introduce yourself to it, and go at your pace. I'm still gonna have pizza. You know what? Maybe I'll, I'm gonna balance it definitely more, which I've been really actively trying to do. I'm not gonna not eat pizza, okay? That's not what this is about. To each their own. Like, again, this whole video is not to say you have to change and convert your life. It's awareness. It starts at awareness, and the more that you begin to maybe realize more of the world and you start to understand your health more, things start to change. There's something here that has been hidden for so long that is hidden in plain sight and it's definitely worth investigating and looking into really what goes into the things that I'm putting in my body and my family and friends' bodies. Did you get your eggs? <laughs> we don't need to get into this. Okay. But if you're watching this and like you were like, wait, I kind of like want to know more about this, just Google Monsanto. There are companies, that, the pesticides that go on our food, there is a group of them linked basically to, I want to make sure I say this properly, to the same gases during World War II, like the gas chambers. How come that's allowed? People are getting paid, people don't know, Money. hiding, it's, it's, it's hiding a truth. Like you're literally ingesting the people who came up with that and are just trying to make money. You know that the same chemical company that created the chemical in Hitler's gas chambers that killed tons of people is still around today and spraying the same chemicals on your food. Pesticides also destroy the microbiome of the soil, which kills the nutrient and mineral content of our food, which depletes our bodies and the cells within our bodies of energy for us to live. And these chemicals also cause dysbiosis in the gut, which destroys our gut-brain connection, aka our connection to our intuition and higher self. Oh, wow. The war is much bigger than we realize. But he's just a guy making a reel for views. No, actually it doesn't have really that much. That's all like research, like I googled it after. You did. So, okay, one thing I want to say, when people watch this video, you're watching maybe for me or like whatever, my sister, all those things, but I'm not one to kind of like educate the masses. And like, I brought out the big guns, I brought my sister because I really do believe anything she watches or shows me is not just, oh, I saw this online. Like sometimes I feel like our parents can do that, right? My sister I know does the work, does the research to find find the things that really are the truth. So when she shows me a video like that, I believe it because I know she's looking for what's wrong with it. I mean, you guys just saw her analyze how many labels, okay? Like, she shows it. So when she shows me things like that, I trust her because she does her research. Honestly, this video is kind of, sorry, there's people. What influencers can do. Yeah, so I'm not, not the, you know, everybody knows how I feel about the word influencer, but if you follow me and you're watching this far, you probably do see some truth or you want to keep for milk. I guess if like one person was inspired by this video and was like, you know what, I will like look at the ingredients more. Like that's kind of what this is. But even more than that, it's more for me. It's a reference video for me. Yeah. So when I shop or if I forget things my sister says, I can rewatch the video and like relive the moment. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna do a one-handed cartwheel. Ready? Wait, let me 
we do cartwheel split? Go this way. Go this way. <laughs> so what did this <laughs> What did this do for Whole Foods? Kerrygold. Uh, Kerrygold. What's the best one to get? Just tell me and I'll get it forever. I won't get the other stuff. Just, just tell me. Get Kerrygold. This one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. The garlic butter one's really good too, but for what you need it for, probably that one. Okay. It's baby's first. Yeah, because it's first field. It's baby's first ketchup. Is that it? <laughs> this is baby's first ketchup. Oh, it ex yeah. expires 627. Really? Like it's gonna die yeah, soon? Yeah, it's literally already gonna die. Maybe because people don't know about it. Go to the back one. No, it's 427. Maybe this is already dead. No, that's six. That's a four. Oh, shoot, that's dead. That's already old. Okay, well, that's baby's first ketchup. <laughs> what is this like? I'm just a girl getting some groceries. <laughs> I'm just a working girl trying to get my seaweed fix. Why do I don't feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate for the amount of seaweed I got? <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Oh, fun fact about me. Can I show you guys something? So see how there's like a camera? There's always a camera just to make sure that like you're not stealing. Don't yeah. steal, it's bad. But listen, I like to pretend that I'm like on camera and I like talk to people watching. Like, hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I got a lot of great things. I literally will do this. It really works well in Target. What <laughs> you just do? Oh, we used to start putting these in bags. Man. Do you want a job? Jeez, I know. I should get tipped for this. This is a lot of work. You know what? You know what I used to tell people? It's kind of embarrassing. What? In fifth grade, I told people, like, people were like, what do you want to do to grow up? Yeah. In fifth grade, you I said. You wanted to bag groceries? I said I wanted to bag groceries. Tell and people were more about and that. And one guy. Yeah? He made fun of me. In your school? He made fun of me because you wanna you wanna be a cashier. What's like wrong that's with your being job. A and I thought that was really rude. What's I was wrong in with fifth being a cashier? grade. There's no room. So you know, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed oh. to put it in the cart. I don't grocery shop super often. Please scan, please. Why isn't this one scanning? This is a lot harder than it looks. I'm telling you, it's hard to be a cashier. Scan, man. Scan, man. What's your process? Scan, right, man. I'm trying. Look, here's this. It needs to be that one. So it needs to read. Well, you can use the up one, too. <laughs> oh, it worked. Oh. All right, the grand total for all the groceries, $115.40. Prompt code accepted. Oh, thank you. So I bought it. <laughs> Did I win? <laughs> no, you didn't win. Yeah. What was the best part of this? What's the best part of all of this? I like doing a cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my receipt? Did they not print one? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, see I... Juliana bought all the groceries. That was really nice. Yeah, but we still gotta go to Wegmans, I mean. What is life for? We're literally working our lives away to buy groceries. Ooh. And we have to also like be weary of all these the ingredients and is it poison? Will this kill me? What keeps you still living your life? What keeps you living your life, viewer? Viewer, yeah. <laughs> Why do you work hard to buy groceries? To live in this to day. To live in this day and age. How fast can we do this? Pretty. And why can't we Oh, how fast? We could be fast. We have to be fast. Guys, I hear Wait, you. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Okay. We do that. Wait, can I tell what? you something? <sighs> okay, something I need help with. Okay. Okay, see how Bianca just said, can I tell you something? And then I also said, can, can I, I tell, tell you something? something? This is yeah. a habit I don't want to yeah. do anymore. Stop me. I don't want to do it. And you know why I do it? Because I feel like no one's ever listening to me. So I have to say, can I tell you something? Can I say something? Oh, uh, like, because you don't think someone listens to you. And I say it in my own stream. I say, chat, can I tell you something? And people are like, she really says this in her own stream. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I just don't think people really listen to me. Oh, I do. But I heard you say, can yeah, I tell I, you something? Yeah, people feel this way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about this. We'll see you at Wagman's. Wait, I'm not kidding. Wait, wait. 
this looking at this gives me stress. I don't like this. Yeah, it's kind I of like they're little... all teaming together to like yeah. overthrow. I feel outnumbered. Are we getting a cart? <gasps> oh. That's the last time you've been here. I've never done this in my life. Okay, so this is probably like my fifth time or sixth time using this, but like they usually snap it up for me. So okay. I'm gonna try to snap it on. Okay. So this scans as you shop, right? It knows what's in our cart right now. Like what I do only really in this section, I just scan them here. And it's like, oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. Apples. An apple a day, that's what I've been doing. Okay. See, it's like, oh, it's happy. So it knows. Okay. I just saw these really pretty flowers. Also, for some reason, in Wegmans, I feel like I'm getting judged way harder for like recording in public here than I was at Whole Foods. It's kind of crazy. I love you. Wow. If you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> fun fact about me, when I go to Wegmans, I can't not get flowers. And fun fact about me, my favorite flowers are baby pink peonies, which I don't see them. Look at those tulips. All oh, these flowers are gorgeous. Hey. Money, cue money trees. Money trees is the perfect place to stay in. It. That's just how I feel. Yeah. Show you. Oh. Thank you. That's what Bianca's name means. White Rose. Oh! Oh, you do this. This is this, yours. I love her. Because there's mixed berry. Honestly, and... do you want to know how? You know how I said don't follow the packaging? Yeah. This is what made me look at this. Because it says pick it's me. It's a pick me. Oh my gosh, it's a pick me yogurt. It's literally pick me. Imagine being a yogurt and you're literally saying I'm a pick me yogurt. Yeah, it's not like perfect perfect, but this is like, this is still pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, this is great. Whatever this Life was. is really good, so. The one you've been getting. I got this yeah, one. This See, is this good. is the cultured low fat. I love this. Culture means that they added, like, basically more bacteria in it. Good bacteria. So there's live and active cultures. We got Reem and his lamp on my train pad. I feel like Bianca's a little kid right now. Like, I don't want to walk too far. Honestly, I was over by the, the flowers, and Bianca was like, Juliana! And I literally had a flashback to when I was like a little kid, and my mom would like call me. Remember getting lost Wait, in the grocery let's, store? Let's talk about this. Look how many yogurts there are. Look at all the bloody yogurt! Look at this. There's a lot of yogurt. Yo! Girl, which one do I get? <laughs> Remember getting um, lost in a grocery store? That was scary. You literally thought it was life or death. Yeah. She's not even listening. She's yeah, really into right. the bloody yogurt. It's nice. Listen, get your girl flowers. <laughs> Look at this guy's mustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is your thing. This is your thing. This is yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna get this one. Which one okay. am I gonna get? That one. Wow, you really think I was gonna get that one? Uh, the big one I would. No, I always get marine greens. Oh, I thought you liked this, the trilogy. No, wait, do you, do we live together? These two, I don't pay attention, oh. <laughs> to be honest. This is, uh... So I like this too. Probiotics are good for your stomach, digestion, whatever. Yeah. Skip all that, but what I love. Uh, made with 100% pure love. <gasps> what? Wow, wow, I, that just. G Tees is great. That just made this book for me. Yeah, and it's natural. What does it mean to be made with love? I think it's just the way that something is created is created with an intention that is very pure. It's not one sided, it's two sided. So, like when mommy and papa had us? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this here, I'm gonna actually, I honestly would like like so on on that marine green. This is really good, and this has nine, algae. Wait, hold on, nine. Billion? <laughs> Holy crap! I don't know what it is about these, the kombucha. I need to drink it more and just like pretend I like it and I then someday I'll like it. I could drink this for this the rest like of drink. my life. I've had every single flavor. It's naturally sweetened. It's not like usually most kombuchas, like they add like a bunch of sugar and stuff to it, but it's it's pretty natural. So I really like that. And it's nine billion, billion cultures. I've been really liking the Simple Mills brand. Well, first of all, not to like fall for the marketing, but like nothing <laughs> artificial ever. Really, let's see. They're, this is how they are. This to me, I was really pleased to see this, so I want to actually make this bread. Okay. Pizza crust, is this what you were talking about? Yeah, so there's different ones too. I was kind of looking around. See, I like this brand. Yeah. I would be down to try this. Make a pizza? Uh, with you. Do you want to do that? If you want to, yeah. I remember when Wegmans had like one tiny little aisle and had like one thing of coconut oil and like one like 
thing of almond butter and it was just so tiny. Everyone who was got in the game early really cared about the consumer. Almond milk didn't have guar gums in it. Like now that it's gone mass consumer, it's like how do we make this cheaper? How do we make this more accessible? How do we make this more? Like... I have a question. Why why did the organic section get bigger? How did it pick up? Yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of like, oh, this is healthy. A lot of it starts with like health. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to just like people start to discover. Yeah. There's that. I personally think it's a little deep, but I think it's like a rise of consciousness. Like people are becoming more aware more conscious as they're human, catching and they're on. catching on. But a lot of it too is like, I want to lose weight. How can I do it faster? Oh yeah. wait, like if I eat like this, this actually helps my body digest more. So I'll eat organic. I'll eat cleaner. But we're gonna get this pizza placenta. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, I was watching Hell's Kitchen and um, they were like cooking with polenta and then for some reason I thought it was placenta. Okay, anyway. Bianca's been making things every Sunday, like healthy alternatives to like desserts and they're like actually really good and I'm not just saying this because she's standing right behind me. They're actually really good and I want to like get I love cleaner. baking, yeah, and I and I would like to do this. Like I would like to make this for Mike. One, at this point, I've been trusting pretty much everything Simple Mills has been doing. So not General Mills, but Simple Mills. Yeah. So simple mills. Now some people could be super like extra and be like, well, you know, chickpeas have this specific thing in it that's Chill. not good for you, but like balance, it's fine. Yeah. So it's all fun. I'm I would be really happy. This is pancake mix. I'm, I'm sure, sure you can make it. Waffle. Yeah. Waffle mix. But this is cocoa, uh, so I wonder if there's original. Oh wait here. Here oh. we go. Okay. So like this would be something that you could waffle mix. It looks like I they see. also made like okay, okay, okay. pancake and waffle. So let's so. get this. Yeah. So another thing I've been that's so cool. So I've been getting this. Oh, this is, she's been putting these in things. Yeah, yeah so okay. this has been really Enjoy good. Enjoy life. See, I like this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yay. So let's like look at the bag. This is pretty standard actually. I bought this This is visit. good chocolate. Yes, I had you eat this. Yeah. Cane sugar. This is, in the end it's sugar. Yeah. Okay, it's not like table sugar, like white sugar. Yeah. But like in the end it is sugar unsweetened chocolate, so at least there's not added sugar in that, and then cocoa butter. That is literally it. What this, about brownies? This is a really good one, dark this chocolate one? brownie mix. Paleo? Paleo. Paleo. This, I'm happy with her auto. I'm really happy with this brand too. I like, like the dark chocolate. Mills or the family likes this. Actually, Marco liked this one better, Papa liked this one better, and Tony's like, oh, they're really both good. What so, do I like? You liked this one better. I did? Yeah. And I use like, I'm bougie like that. <laughs> PB and J's, what's this? Bobo's, see this is too many ingredients yeah. then. But it's in the organic, organic center, see that's what I'm saying. Like throws you off. This is great, the Siete brand is awesome. Like look at that, cassava flour, cassava starch, so avocado, avocado oil. oil is good. Yep, this is great, like if somebody needs like a snack or something, like this is like guilt free snack. Listen, this is the most important part of the video for me. So if you're not me, you don't have to watch this part. Hi, Juliana, it's just you and me. We have a problem. <laughs> we have a problem. We like pasta. There's nothing we can do about it. We're gonna eat it forever uh, in a perfect world, which is something I wanna do, is I wanna make my own pasta because when you make it yourself, you know exactly what goes into it, extra love. But in this case, there's different alternatives to the pasta that I've been having. I like Barilla pasta, I grew up on it. We love a Barilla pasta, the blue box, the red label. But Bianca introduced me to... Bianca. Bagman's chickpea. So what's the difference? Tell us why. Tell us Linga. So the biggest thing, look at this, only one ingredient. It's That's really like, I, when I saw this, I was like, no, this is not true. Like maybe like that was all. Look at this. That's literally all there. So how could Wegmans get away with that? There's obviously water to bind it, but it's just like, that's it. That's all that is in there. I, I would, how could they get I away think. with that? Well, it's I think it's just water and How could how they make it only that Well, much? when you taste it too, you're like, doesn't, it, it's like, it's pot. I mean, you tasted it, we put sauce on it. It's not like perfect, not but it tastes perfect, like chickpeas. But yeah, it tastes like chickpeas and it's heavier. Also, my battery's gonna die. Cliffhanger, what's gonna happen? Is she gonna get the pasta? I got a couple of these chickpea shells. We didn't have the shells, she made me these. They were a little crunchy crunch. Um, I don't know about the yellow lentil cassara. So I'm gonna get this. Cassara? Anyway, shout out to B for teaching me about this. But um, fun fact, I do wanna make pasta forever and I want to make healthy pasta for my kids and for Sunday dinners and things like that for my future family and for my current family and all that pizza I want to make pizza at home but I want it to be like a healthier option why do you want it to be healthier because I love pizza I love pasta you're not no, gonna say why do you want it to be healthier because I'll live longer okay why should others so they can live longer 
So why would you want to live longer? Because you can lead a healthy life and there's more, there's a lot of good things in life. You haven't even experienced that. So like take care of your body and take care of your mind because there's a lot of beauty in life to still be lived. So take care of yourself. I, I'm learning just work hard so you can afford to eat good. That's literally what I'm learning because groceries, man, it's expensive out here. Are you doing that one for eggs? No, I need for like the... Oh, sorry. Big sister just came out of her. What about rice? We have rice at home, it doesn't really matter. What's the difference about like... We got rice. No, no I'm saying like what to look for. Look, the more you go in, the more you should just fast for the rest of your life. <laughs> Honestly. Like... Wait, I thought you had rice. I know, but I just want to know which oh, one. Oh, sorry. What's Bianca approved? I get these two, as long as it's organic. Okay. I get this peanut butter. I've been getting this for years. Okay, but I like the crunchy one these days. I'm like the crunchy kick. This here, it's organic. Dry roasted organic blanched peanuts. Salt. That is oh, all. Said bland peanuts. Blanched. Like... Sage. I am a Cocoa Pebble girl. I'll never forget you. My dog loves these. Hold on, I'm getting this for baby. This for the baby. Sage, I love these. So this bread's really cool because they say it's the lowest glycemic index. This actually allows your body to like digest it like a lot. Um, I can't think right now. My mind Just get a Zico bread. Get a Zico bread. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, Jenny's Jenny ice Vanderland. cream. We love it. This is the best one. Salty caramel. There's like nothing in it. There's some stuff in it, but it's like not super bad. I love it. Kark likes this one. Antonio and I like this one. They like this one. I like this one. Kark likes this one. And we all like So that. what we'll say like on Sundays is like, hey, like a we invite Jenny over. Jenny, and we're talking about this. And it's not Jenny, it's Jenny V, Jenny Van Leeuwen. Jenny Van Leeuwen, because the so first like, name Jenny, last name's Van Leeuwen. To describe the persona of Jenny, like Jenny's like... From the block. Yeah, everyone likes Jenny. Like Jenny's just like she's very, like she's attractive. Girl. Yeah, she's pretty she much, she has a good family. She's attractive, she's a know-how attractive. Yeah, she didn't and realize it, like, that. makes her cute. But she's really smart. Really smart. Like, like, invite her to the party. Yeah. It's like not a tag along, but also like not the life of the party. Yeah, but, she, but like it's a good need, time because yeah, she's there. She's a good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it doesn't. Oh, wait, look. You have to flip. Okay, it's cuter on this side. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Just eat from the earth. If it comes from the what? Oh yeah, yeah. It looks like well, it earth. looks like your throat is glowing. Whatever you're saying is really important. That means important. it's the truth. It's I my, know. Like, throat chakra. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if it comes from the earth and it's naturally produced, it is safe to eat. That's it. So eat from the earth. But listen, you're human. We can't do everything perfect. Just be aware. Know that you can do better. We can always do better. Balance is the key to everything. We really just yapped for four and hours. And you literally stayed and you were still watched watching. The entire thing. This is me the longest video ever. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not gonna edit much. This just might be an hour long video. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm, I don't look who cares. Like, it's gonna be short for the viewer. No, yeah, honestly, it's for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the biggest thing that I would like you to take away is you're the creator, you're a content creator. Now you're on the flip side, now you're a consumer. What are the things that you want to consume? Again, like whether it's content versus food. There's a reason the people who are got this far in the video are watching this video because they're consuming content of G and they're actually interested in her content, whether they know her personally or discovered her online. Why are you consuming this content? Now think about the food you eat. Why are you consuming that food? We got everything, someone's gonna come over. So what happens is, we take this, scan it, and then it's like, oh, oh I already one. know. Okay, that's how this works. That's it, pay now. Enter phone number. Okay, bye. Yeah. Wait, wait. Total is 100. <sighs> Break the bank. You select your payment. We really paid three hundred dollars in groceries for like a month. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> It'd be like that. It'd be and G like that. Bye. Bye. Certified B.